Hello everyone. Uh, in this video lecture, uh, though very short, I am going to discuss uh, two very important fields of speech and uh, they are climax and anticlimax. Now, uh, generally you have heard these terms climax and anticlimax in connection with the plot of the play or uh, any novel and uh, you always judge a text that here lies the climax of the play or here lies the climax of the story and all that but they are also the figures of speech climax and anticlimax. Now, uh, uh, you know, then what is this uh, climax? Climax is actually uh, uh, in a climax, uh, the you know the sentences, clauses, phrases, or words, they uh, are arranged in such a manner that there is a kind of rise in the arrangement. That is, they are arranged in you know ascending uh, uh, order. Now, uh, this can be uh, you know. Uh, something good or this can be something you know bad but this will always be as far as intensity is you know concerned they will be in ascending order you know rising order uh, now uh, i'll give you some some examples from you know literature uh, there is a famous statement uh, in in julius caesar by william shakespeare uh, and you know uh, the example of climax is uh, the, you know the the statement I came I saw I conquered now you, you just see the you know the uh, the rising or the ascending you know uh, in the arrangement of the words I came came saw conquered now then there is a famous line uh, by Robert you know Sade one of the important romantic poets and the line is you just look at uh, the ascending in order the rising in the arrangement of the words um, that consolation that joy that triumph was afforded by him so in this example you you find uh, three words and they are arranged in ascending order consolation joy and triumph they are in you know ascending order in rising you know order now, there is one uh, more example which I would like to take from William Shakespeare and this is a very famous uh, line and, uh, you know, the play was also prescribed in a course so that is Hamlet. Now, the this uh, soliloquy uh, is, uh, what a piece of work is man? How noble in reason, how infinite in faculties, in action, how like an angel in apprehension how like a god you just try to find out uh, the the words and they, the words are arranged in you know rising in ascending order man you know what a piece of work is man then you know angel then you know god so we have this example of you know uh, uh, climax now coming to anticlimax the word uh, itself denotes that that will be the opposite of you know uh, climax Anticlimax is also sometimes called bathos, B A T H O S, a word introduced by Alexander Pope, 18th century, you know, poet. Now, uh, we uh, be, uh, this anticlimax is you no know, climax presents uh, a steady rise, and anticlimax drops suddenly. So, on the one hand, you know, climax is in ascending order, and anticlimax is in descending order. You know, and the effect which comes after this, after the arrangement in descending order, is something which is ridiculous. Uh, you know, uh, that uh, that is used for the sake of you know satire, for the sake of you know sarcasm, or for the uh, you know mocking effect. Uh, Alexander Pope has uh, made use of uh, anticlimax or bathos in his uh, poem, uh, you know, the rape of the lock. Now, uh, one example I would like to take, you, 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 you just see how, you know, pathetic uh, is, is this, how um, anticlimax is this, how sudden, uh, uh, you know, uh, fall is there, uh, uh, the words are arranged in descending order. This example I have already uh, given in some other context, in, in the rape of the log, the line is, uh, here thou great Anna, now look at this couplet, here thou great Anna, whom three realms obey dost sometimes 
counsel take and sometimes tea now you you see uh, one uh, how sudden fall is there uh, uh, the ruler of the three realms then taking of the council and then taking of the tea so we have a sudden drop actually sudden fall uh, the, the, the arrangement in uh, descending order the next example is you know uh, uh, is is also from the same uh, poem uh, for god for the country and for yale again we have uh, you know the arrangement in you know descending order now uh, so you, you 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 find that you know uh, uh, while climax in climax we have arrangement in you know ascending order and anti climax we have in in uh, descending order anti climax generally things are done for the uh, you know uh, ludicrous or the ridiculous you know uh, uh, purposes uh, uh, this anti climax is also sometimes uh, uh, known as bathos but bathos is a kind of you know uh, unintentional anti climax it's it's an unintentional you know anti climax so this is basically a you know climax and anti climax thank you very much